Welcome to the demonstration of ADS 1000 FX Atomic Absorption Spectrophotometer manufactured by Motra Scientific Instruments Private Limited based in Gurgaon, India. The ADS 1000 FX is a diode array based atomic absorption spectrophotometer which uses polychromator to resolve and perform analysis for all elements. The system is able to detect and perform on all the wavelengths simultaneously. The system is not limited by the number of elements which can be deduced in real time, but it is limited by the elements available in HCL lamp that is being used to perform the analysis. Also, it should be noted that in a single reading, all the element analysis are captured. The system has advanced features like automatic peak corrections, USB connectivity, and uses ultra-fast 1024 Hz modulation for HCL lamp. The system has automatic gas box with pressure sensing and fuel and oxidant line as well as sensor to see the nebulizer status and other sensors like bunk and burner attachment. The system uses original holographic grating blazed at 230 nanometer with a resolution of 1200 lines per mm as standard. The system also has provision for background correction using two line background correction wherein the system is real time looking at a peak of the element as well as a peak nearby and records the ratio between the peaks to deduce any background interference and subtract it from the reading. Here we have set up the instrument for a demonstration. In this setup, we have a multi-element standard with copper, iron, zinc and manganese. And the PPM content is 1, 2, 3, 5 and for zinc it is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0.5. Now let's look at the software. This is the main screen that is open and you can see the operation file edit tabs on the top. Let's go to file new analysis. On this screen you can see the choice of element that are to be analyzed and this screen is separated into different tabs which can be expanded or collapsed. You see here the elements listed as copper, iron, Magnesium and zinc. These are selected from the LAMP setup. In the LAMP setup, we can see the first lamp is assigned as a multi element lamp. User can change this to any desired lamp, and the same specific elements will be available on the analysis tab. Now, let us see the demonstration of the automatic gas box. Let's head over to the instrument gas box mode. As you can see, the, the fuel enabled is highlighted in green. And when the stop flame button is turned off, it immediately turns us into red, disabling the fuel. Let's enable it and let's ignite the gas box by enabling the air and then enabling the fuel. We'll now start the analysis for copper, iron, MN and zinc. We'll select all element and press setup and then take a reading. We'll zero the instrument by running the blank and wait for the instrument to complete. Once the blanking is done, you can see that the readings are now continuously displayed on the screen. Let's blank it again. And this time the system will automatically give three readings for all the four elements because the setting has enabled the triplet reading. 
Now let's record the reading of the blank as well. We'll load the graph template and we'll read the ABS. As you can see that the instrument is now reading and the table is being populated by the real time reading. Let's go ahead and associate the blank reading with the first row of the table that is blank. Now let's run the 1 ppm copper and 0.1 zinc. As you can see 1 ppm copper gives a reading of 0.247 ABS which is very high. This shows the sensitivity of the instrument. Let's associate this reading with the first standard. Now let's change to the second standard the 2 ppm and 0.2 ppm and as you may see that the linearity is very good let's associate this reading with the second standard on the right side you can see the graph being populated by the same Let's run the 3 ppm standard and 0.3 for zinc. Again, the instrument shows a very good linearity and very high sensitivity. As a standard copper test, let's record this and now we will run for 5 ppm to see the maximum absorption limit. High end instrument tends to give ABS of 0.9 for 5 ppm. Here we can see for 5 ppm the instrument is giving a reading of around 1.4 ABS. You can see the graph on the right hand side. If we scroll down, each individual element will also have the graph with the R square and the linearity displayed. Let's go ahead over to the combined graph which shows all the element and the R square at once. Now let's record these again as samples to see the reproducibility of the instrument. We are first running blank as a standard let's record it now let's run the 1 ppm and 0.1 ppm standard as a sample We see here that the repeatability is outstanding and the same is being displayed in the table as well. Now let's run the 2 ppm standard as a sample. We see that the reproducibility outstanding as well. We'll go ahead and record it. Now we'll read the 3 ppm standard as a sample. Again, please note at the repeatability of the instrument. We'll record this as a sample. Now we'll run the 5 ppm standard as a sample.
again we see that the repeatability is very good even at this scale of abs we'll go ahead and record it all the concentrations are reported as exact we have now stopped the flame We'll go ahead and see the report for this. With this, we'll end this video and we thank you for your time. Goodbye.